Once I'm in my course, I need to turn editing on. I will then navigate to the week in which I'd like to add my discussion forum. Once there, I can go to Add Activity Forum. I will then be prompted to enter a forum name and description, in this case, autobiography of a face, as a placeholder. I'll then enter my discussion question, but more to come on that later. You have a couple options here. When entering my description, I can navigate to the Show More Buttons icon where I will find some cool features. One being an accessibility checker, which ensures proper contrast between my text and background for those who can't visually process or discern between certain colors. Another feature, the screen reader helper, ensures my formatting is navigable by assistive technology. You also have an HTML interface where you can add and edit code. When picking a forum type, many faculty members opt for Q&A, which prevents students from reading their peers' posts until they themselves have posted. The hope is that this forum type will yield more original responses as opposed to largely derivative ones. Next, I can add this assignment to one of the three weighted categories I created when setting up my gradebook, in this case, assignments. And here's where ratings come into play. Ratings are nice if you want to grade discussion posts as you read them. The most common aggregate types for ratings are sum of ratings or average of ratings. For this forum, I'm going to use sum of ratings and set my maximum points at 10. You then have options to allow students to check off the activity once it's completed, or you can explore some alternatives. One caveat about Q&A forums. In order for students to reply to this type of forum, you must first respond yourself. Otherwise, students will be able to see your discussion prompt, but won't be able to respond. Thankfully, there's a simple fix for this. Just go into your forum and respond. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to put an encouraging comment about posting here. This is also an opportunity to reiterate expectations for posts, word count, citation requirements, etc. Or, if you want to, you can put the expectations in the description and put your first cue prompt in the actual question. It's up to you. Now that my Q&A forum is live, I can begin rating students' posts using a drop-down menu. I used my rubric and arrived at an 8 out of 10 for this particular post. I now want to ensure that my rating made it to the gradebook. I can go to my administration block, which I have docked here, or if you haven't docked this block, you can access it from your course homepage. I will then navigate to the gradebook where I can indeed see that my grading took. This student has an 80% or an 8 out of 10 for this particular post. And now my work here is done. That is, until more posts start rolling in. Thank you for watching.